Welcome to Polymer Update TV, the world's first free plastics news show. Covering weekly trends in polymer raw material trading for today, Wednesday, June 26. This week, low-density polyethylene prices gained in some parts of Asia, while they quoted flat in other parts of the region. The U.S. Federal Reserve's unflinching focus on holding key interest rates higher, citing a lack of progress in tackling inflation, has dampened purchase interest for commodities like crude oil, thereby exerting a bearish pressure on prices. Meanwhile, global container shipping rates have witnessed a continual spike amid major global ports facing vessel congestions and shipping delays. In Far East Asia, LDPE film grade prices were assessed at the $1,160 to $1,210 per metric ton CFR levels, an increase of $20 on the lower side and $30 on the higher side, week on week. In China, severe container crunch in the Middle East, which accounts for a major chunk of LDPE supply to China, led to prices trending higher. Furthermore, heavy maintenance activity across plants in China, which resulted in a tight supply situation, also lent support to prices. Meanwhile, Chinese customs data stated that China's PE import volumes were pegged at 1,019,000 metric ton in May, lower by 1.5% on the year. In Southeast Asia, LDPE film grade prices were assessed at the $1,260 to $1,310 per metric ton CFR levels a week-on-week -week rise of $30 per metric ton. In Southeast Asia, there was a continual rise in offers, with regional producers experiencing a tight supply situation. Meanwhile, non-fulfillment of earlier contractual obligations has led to regional producers limiting allocations for July shipment. Although U.S. origin offers were low-priced, purchase appetite for U.S. cargoes was constrained owing to longer transit times. Meanwhile in India, LDPE prices were assessed at the $1,250 to $1,280 per metric ton CFR levels, unchanged week on week. In India, logistical bottlenecks have resulted in supply constraints over the last two months. Exporters are finding it increasingly difficult to ship material to India on account of vessel congestion at Indian ports. Regional traders are selling material at higher price levels than quoted by domestic producers in the open market of India. Thank you for watching.